them what one this one is yet until we associate with them. Exactly. Sure what? How you <laughs> fry the fish? Oh, shallow, shallow fried oil, five millimeters of oil. Um, just throw the backbone in. The tail's going to crisp up with a little bit of crunch, like um, crackling. Speak louder! Like crackling the tail. It's edible. Beautiful. I have them. Hobo Simple Cooking, Sustainable Living Out at Sea and on Land. Coral trout's just about done. That's been oh, three minutes each. Three minutes first side, two minutes second side. Turn the flame off before I lift the lid, just in case I've overcooked the temp. Still bubbling in its own oil, but look at that beautiful golden backbone. Yummy. You wait till you see how the white flesh pulls off of the fork. So, take the vermicelli, I use my fingers of course, it's still a little bit warm but that's okay. Like pasta, that's sort of a lot. But this is much lighter than pasta, Vietnamese, 
Well, all Asian countries eat this. Ooh, hot. Um, I might have to turn off. Okay, I'm going to turn off this. So... so, Paul is putting the crunchy coral trout. You can use um, fillets of fish, but since we're eating the spines, we hate wasting anything. Um, so most people won't be doing this. Just whatever fish. Any vegetables. Uh, bean sprouts are really good. I um, sprout my own bean sprouts, but I haven't um, for the last few days, so we don't have bean sprouts. I also like to put fresh chilies. We don't have any fresh chilies. <laughs> So it's um, sustainable living with what you have on board too. So it's a mix. And it saves a lot of money. And it's not just saving money, it's just how can you fucking get any fresher than this? It's so good. And look at this. Nature's bounty. It's so abundant when you're not greedy and you just hunt what you can eat. Water. 